This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hello gamers, it is me, Redale. Today we're going to show you how to edit like me. Today we got Babushka with us. Uh, she, she's gonna be helping us edit today. So we're gonna go through some stuff about how Radel edits his videos. Mm. I might be pronouncing his name wrong. I don't know. Radel. Radel himself has made some tutorials about how to edit gaming videos. So I'm not gonna go through any of the effects that he's already covered. What I am gonna go through is how he edits his videos generally, the style of editing that he uses, and talk a little bit about how he gets that flow. So let's let's go to step one. Step one is be funny and have a funny laugh. <laughs> yeah, one thing you'll notice in Radel videos is that he laughs a lot. <laughs> and he uses his laugh for exaggerated moments of funniness. Because when he laughs, not only is it a funny sound, but it's also comedically timed. Let's find our first victim. <laughs> this is the perfect stream setup, I'm just saying. <laughs> Radel typically uses fast cutting, and when I say fast cutting, I mean this. Or this. Let's look at a few examples. <laughs> Dan Schneider. I knew he was fake. I knew I was fake. Today, I will try the most difficult GTA challenge of all time. I installed. Yeah, his editing style really satisfies ADHD because it's very fast, it's very quick. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There isn't really much of a tutorial I can give on that other than just to cut in the right places. Bam! I got a haircut. Look at that. I've got some effects I want to go through that he hasn't taught in some of his tutorials. So we're going to look at a Radle video right now. God damn it, ho yeah, so you see what I mean about the fast cutting? There's not really much editing involved in that other than changing the scale on a clip in time with the music, which is something that I notice a lot of really good YouTubers do. Let's carry on, let's see if we can find something that actually requires some brain cell activity. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Mountain man? Okay, so Radle uses subtitles a lot in his videos, and they can often be pretty comedic in themselves because they stretch, they squeeze, they fly about, you know, they displace and everything, and it's, and it's quite interesting to watch. It makes the gaming videos just have a little bit more flair. Let's go over how we can make some of those effects ourselves. So what I'm going to do is bring in a random clip. Uh, it, it's going to be completely random. Jeez. Perfect. All right, bam, it's brought in. We'll just scale that up real quick. Look at this, look at sheesh. this. Uh, we want him to say sheesh. Sheesh. So we've got our text file that says sheesh. We're gonna center align the text, so bam, just click that. Keep the font in classic Radle style, which is something like Myriad. And then we're gonna add stroke to that. You have to tick it and click on the color and drag that to black. And then make it around 14. I reckon that looks pretty good. <laughs> One thing we're going to do to make it stretch, and this this goes with face cam footage as well. All you have to do is go down to this option here where it says scale. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck this box called uniform scale. That basically means that the width and the height is going to stay the same if it's ticked. But if it's not ticked, then whoa! That's a really simple stretch effect. Uh, you can do that with subtitles. You can do it with face cam. Uh, let's do it with face cam right now. Same thing applies. Uncheck. Untick that box. <laughs> And then scale width, scale height even just a little bit, but mostly scale width because you want it to be wide, right? It's beautiful. It really looks great. We've done a great job so far. How can we add on to this learning? We can keyframe it again. <laughs> don't do what I'm doing. Don't, don't follow anything I'm saying. Basically, you can just go crazy with it. As, as long as you know that, that that is what that function is, it basically means that you can stretch it, right? Or squeeze it. It's me, baby! <gasps> salesman thing! Oh, not yeah. again! Salesman fit, please! Boy, have I got to say please. it's you! <laughs> okay, alright, I'll watch it. Alright, just, just, okay, okay. <laughs> I love the sun. Oh, what's up, ladies and fins? It's me, baby, salesman Finn, and have I got a sale for you. You want to travel the world, don't you? You want to see the places, hear the sounds, feel the energy of the world in your fingertips. You don't want to stay at home. No, you want to go to Canada. You know why you want to go to Canada? Because Canadian streaming services have everything. Everything. By changing your virtual location, not only are you getting a virtual holiday, but you're also getting better access to everything that these streaming services have to offer. Now I for one hate cyber criminals. I hate them so much with all my salesman thin gut. They really grind my gears. 
And the really cool thing about Surfshark VPN is that they're looking out for you. They're encrypting your data every time you do anything online. If you're using Surfshark VPN, you're going to be a whole lot safer, trust me. So make sure that you use code FINZAR for 83% off and three months for free. I mean, come on. It's a no-brainer. Need I, need I, I rest my case. I rest. I rest my case. The link is in the description. And if you don't click that link, I'm going to find you. And I'm going to get you. I'm going to go in. I can, I can travel anywhere I want and I'll find you. You don't click that link in the description. So go to that right now. Oh my god, run! I'm falling asleep, man! As you can see, we got some text here which needs to be going multicolored. This is a really simple effect. So, T for text. Then click on the screen. Epic color text. Look at that. It's already saved our stroke format that we put on there. Perfect! Yeah, centrally align it. Why not? Just get into the habit of doing that with text. Effects. And then we're gonna find HLS. We're gonna type in that. And as you can see, we have color balance. HLS, we drag that on and plop it on top. And where's the effect? There it is, color balance, HLS. So one thing we're gonna wanna do before we start changing this is actually change the color of the text. We just take that fill and we turn it red. Don't ask me why, it just means that it can actually do the effect. And then we're gonna get the hue and we're gonna start it off, click the stopwatch, bam. Uh, and then we're gonna go forward a few frames and start changing the color. And you can change the color by just dragging this up and down with the mouse, just pump it right up then to one times, it doesn't matter, one times 160, it doesn't matter. Look at that, epic color text. This is beautiful. Another thing that I see he uses on text is the wave warp feature. So just type in in the effects panel, wave warp. And look at that right there, wave warp in the distort section. We're gonna drag and drop that on, plop. Obviously when you drag that on, look at that, it looks a little bit silly. Uh, you can do whatever the hell you want with this, but I'm just gonna get it looking like, you know, kind of nice. Four in the wave height, and then a hundred in the wave width. Yeah, that, you know what, that looks pretty good. Oh, shit! And I combined it with the chaos mod. One last thing I wanna go over is the tracking of the text. He tends to use keyframes quite a lot on his text. That's a pretty easy thing to do. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna use the same clip of me clapping like an idiot and I'm gonna track some text onto my clapping. In fact, I'll alt and drag that text that we just made over. Look at that. And then I'm gonna scale it down. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the beginning, keyframe on position by pressing that stopwatch, drag it and put it to about there. So I'm just gonna be doing this by eye. See if that blue dot is there. I'm just gonna try and track that onto my fingertips. Uh, and I'm gonna do it every three or four frames. One, two, three, four. It, look, it looks absolutely fine. Like, that's one way you can track your text, and I think that's gonna be very useful for you games out there. Now these effects practically are very simple, so uh, it's not gonna require that much skill to actually add the effect or, or change the effect or anything like that. It just requires the right thinking and approach to using them. One thing that I'm a fan of and I, I completely advocate for is using presets and motion graphics packs. I use quite a lot and I wanna be very upfront about that. You know, not everything is completely edited by me. Like, you know, I've bought presets, I've downloaded them and I've used them. People ask me all the time, like, how the hell do you do that thing? And I'm like, it's a preset? So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, how easy they are to use. I used this one before in my last video, uh, and it's literally like an infographic slide, and it's just straight in Premiere. There it is. It's just like that's that's literally it. You can totally customize what's in it. So look, shape element off because obviously I don't want that in there. Uh, you can change the colors. You can make it white, purple, whatever. Everything's customizable on these things. <laughs> look at this. That's good enough to go in a video for me. Anyway, there's a link in the description if you want to look at the presets that I use. Real time savers. So make your life a little bit easier if you're looking for those fancy edits to just quickly throw in there. Now onto the very final part of this video and arguably the most important part of editing like Radle. And that's audio design. Audio design is one of those things that just kind of goes under the radar when it comes to editing. People don't think it's that important or something like that. <laughs> Stupid. But it's definitely worth talking about in this case. Radle's sound design is pretty sweet. So having done my research, I'm aware that a lot of his videos are GTA themed. So a lot of the sound effects come from the game itself and also so does the music sometimes. So if you're doing a gaming channel for yourself, then 
it might be worth looking into downloading sound effects from certain games you play. It's probably quite subtle, but it adds this sense of continuity throughout his videos. So start thinking about things like that maybe. In Premiere Pro, I recommend using the bass effect. Just go into effects and just type in bass, bass. And you'll see there's one just called bass. So let's add bass to this idiot. And then look at this, look, it's really easy. Boost, pump that shit up to 24. That's one way you can track your text, and I think that's going to be really useful for you games out there. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, have we learned anything today? What are we going to do, Seth? We're going to keyframe it. Look at that. Go from 0 to 24. That's one way you can track your text, and I think that's going to be very useful for you games out there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Another one is reverb, and that's a very easy thing to do. Also, it's worth saying, you can turn off effects just by pressing this button here. Look at that. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Sounds like I'm saying something German. On, off, on, off. Anyway, studio reverb. Slap it on, baby. Edit. Now we want to make it something like vocal reverb large. I think that's going to be very useful for you games out there. See, li listen to that. That's one way you can track your text, and I think that's going to be very useful for you games out there. You know, f if we're not if we're not putting that on a fart, then what are we doing? What what are we doing? See that fart? Let's listen. <coughs> it's a good fart. That's a really good fart sound effect. Well done, Finn. Thank you, Finn. Studio reverb. Bam. Effect controls. Edit. Presets, large vocal reverb, not enough reverb, great hall, that's the one. So that about does it. That wraps it up for this video about how to edit like Radle. I hope it's obvious. I don't want you guys to go and copy this guy. I'm just showing you some of the techniques he uses. I'm hopefully trying to give you some insight into why he'd cut the way he cuts or edit the way he edits. Because ultimately in gaming videos generally, being funny can be a really good thing. So learning how other people are funny and uh, some of the techniques they use to do that, to achieve it, will take it any day of the week. Now, personally, I've been doing some research on Radel, obviously, to make this video. I've taken some things from him myself, and I'll share with you what those things are. Not scripting my videos is actually something I've been wanting to do for a while. I haven't been confident enough to do it, but something like this video is completely non-scripted. So just being loose with it, that's something I notice Radel does. He's very loose, and he's just editing himself just being himself and that is funny because he's a funny guy so it's enjoyable to watch anyways thank you all so much for coming by i really appreciate it um let me know what you think in the comments of this video and if you want more videos like this big shout out to radel i will leave his link in the description where you can find his channel go subscribe to him he's an absolutely fantastic youtuber makes some very entertaining videos but yeah that's it uh go follow me on social medias or something i, I want the blue tick on my name you know, that would make me real. That would give me that, mm, that dopamine I want. Wait, before the video ends, make sure you go use that link in the description. It's me. Say it my fin, baby. All right, get out of here. What are you still doing here, man? Get the f Subscribe to me, Rob. So anyways, that's it. Um. Get out of here right now.